จุมเรียบสู้สวัสดีครับเอเชียนซีอาจารีสรีรัตนาบาน Director General of the Department of East Asia Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Kingdom of Thailand เอเชียนซีพานิลิสเลดี้แอนด์เจนท์เมนต์ทุกวันนี้ผมเริ่มที่จะประกาศบทเรียนในการแสดงบทเรียนในเวลาสำคัญของวันนี้ Under the theme "Connecting Digital Opportunity Between Thailand and Cambodia," to begin, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the Department of East Asia of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand and the International Study Center for making this webinar happen. My thanks also go to panelists and all participants for the meaningful contribution and insightful views. Share throughout the course of the discussion on the prospect of digital economies. Indeed, digital economy is very interesting topic, as we are living in the new era of the digitalization, where there exists an opportunity for us to leverage technology, be it for business, social activity. But also in the area of public governance and service delivery, while COVID-19 pandemic has forced many businesses to reassess their performances, having a reliable digital platform on which to operate is obviously critical importance. Currently, the global digital economy is worth 11.5 trillion US dollar, and equivalent to 15. 0.5% of the global GDP. It has also grown two and a half times faster than the global GDP over the past 50 years. As for ASEAN, the digital economy has been growing rapidly in online services, even during the pandemic. This would add an estimated one trillion US dollar to regional GDP. Over the next 10 years, as our speakers, uh, panelists, has mentioned during their productive discussion in this webinars, we have so far witnessed the government ongoing effort in charting the course of digital economy to flourish in Cambodia and Thailand. This has been done through building a reliable physical infrastructures. An effective policy framework that enables a friendly ecosystem for the tech startups. As a result, we have seen a number of digital initiatives and projects being established in the recent year, particularly in the financial services, retail, and advertising sectors, as well as many other important industries. Allow me to name a few. Project that Cambodia has been doing over the past year in promoting digital economies. Cambodia has been active in the supporting digital economy, especially with the adoption of e-commerce law and its strategies last year, and digital economic and society policy 2021-2035 this year. The country's internet access of mobile devices. Has resulted in a surge in the number of people shifting their business activity to online platforms. In addition, Cambodia launched digital wallet Bakong in October 2020 to help the strengthen the Khmer Rouge and reduce dependence on the US dollars. This plan has proven successful with over 200,000 users of Bakong digital. Wallet at present, while more than 5.9 million users have benefited indirectly through the use of online banking apps connected to the system, and the more recently, Cambodia has just launched online business registration system PES2 to improve business climate and enhance the ease of doing business in that for Cambodia. This will provide greater user experience for business owners. In filling out the application form and receiving digital licenses through the information technology nursery, Excellency, Ladies and Gentlemen, I wish to congratulate all participants 
for the successful outcome of this webinar this morning. I do believe that your meaningful suggestions and recommendations would be considered positively by relevant authority of the two countries. I would also like to share my personal views concerning digital economy of the two countries as follows. Firstly, I think both sides should work toward narrowing digital gap between the two countries by becoming active players in digital economy. And in doing so, it would be best if Thailand could share her best practices and experiences to Cambodia on how to close gap between all this and digital use. Secondly, more effort and priority should be focused on building partnership between e-government and e-commerce with the goal to enhance more people to do businesses and access simplified digital services that the country can offer. Thirdly, more opportunity for education and training in digital related aspect should be established for talented young individuals to further try digital economy adoption. Digital transformation is here to say and will become more relevant and significant in our life, business, work. Of course, there will be some disruptions and challenges along the way. However, I believe that with strong political will and continued support, more technology adoptions and reforms would be inevitable and it would have better prepare countries like Cambodia and Thailand for greater development in the near future. Now, let me end my remark by wishing Your Excellency, distinguished guests, and all participants good health and greater success in your endeavors. To this end, may I declare the webinars on connecting digital opportunities between Cambodia and Thailand closed. Thank you for your attention.